So listen to this. Scientists studying the Earth's stratosphere made a surprising discovery. Strange, unexplained sounds. Listen. So those strange, unexplained sounds were detected when scientists sent giant solar balloons 70,000 feet up in the air to the stratosphere, which as everyone knows, is the second layer of Earth's atmosphere and contains the ozone layer. Researchers will continue to investigate the sounds and try to determine where those rumblings originated. Uh, scientists hope that these balloons could one day be used to explore other planets, including Venus. I, I thought the sounds, Kate, sounded you know, more like Duran Duran than Depeche Mode. Dr. Brown, thanks so much for your time. Firstly, can I start actually with that question, you know, about what exactly it is this magnetic North Pole? And there was a lot of articles this time last year uh, alarming us that it was moving more rapidly and changing direction. NASA says the North Pole is actually moving. <laughs> That's right. Scientists say the Earth's magnetic North Pole is shifting. Uh, that the movement is generated by the Earth's core, which is thousands of kilometers under our feet. But, you know, what impacts it? What, what do you see as the reason for this, uh, this movement and switch in direction? Uh, so, yes, it has moved um, since about 1860. It's moved about two and a half thousand kilometers. Um, but in fact, the thing that's been quite interesting is that since the 1990s, it's really sped up very much, as you alluded to. Well, this morning we are learning about a shift in the Earth's inner core that sounds like the plot, the Hollywood blockbuster. Scientists say our planet's solid core, which is actually disconnected from the rest of the Earth's layers, may actually have stopped rotating and could even reverse course. This is a new study. It was published Monday. But I read that this happens every 70 years, so we don't need to be alarmed. That's right. The bad news is that we know very little about the core of the Earth, very little about what's underneath our feet. The good news is... Probably there's nothing to worry about in the sense that roughly every 70 years or so, we're not sure, the, uh, the, the center of the Earth does seem to go backwards. If this is the core, this is the crust of the Earth that we live on, yes. this is the core of the Earth, the core could move independently of the crust. That's the key. So the part we're on never moves in reverse. Yeah, so the, the, the core of the Earth sits in a pool of like molasses. And it's able to spin independently of the crust of the Earth. So, in other words, don't lose any sleep over this. Probably it's a natural <laughs> cycle. It takes place probably once every 70 years or okay. so. But we need more data because this is new territory for us. Yeah, why do we need to know? I mean, they spent a lot of time. They studied earthquakes back to the 60s. Why is it important to know more about this? What are the implications? The implications are potentially enormous because think of continental drift. Sure. Why are the continents moving away from each other? What is driving it? And also uh, earthquakes, uh, the whole nature of the stability of the planet itself. We know very little about what's underneath our feet. 